Konnichiwa, dick punches and dick punchettes. This is Quartermasters. We are children driving robots. I am McDan. Whiskey. Taxi. And, and we're, we're playing whatever the fuck this is. Furries the game, aka Metamorphic Force. So what were we talking about before we wrapped up again? Uh, we oh, we were just shit. about to I talk was... about uh <laughs> so, so, so oh, 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 con. Con. Yeah. Con. I have a theory as to how Khan went from a Mexican looking guy who was Indian to a white British dude. Oh. And a comic book I read later confirmed this, which is kind of awesome. But here's the thing. In the original timeline, he never met Admiral Marcus. He was never part of Section 31. You know, Kirk found him, so he remained as he was. When he met Al, fucking Stretch Armstrong here, holy <laughs> shit. I would hate to meet Stretch Armstrong. But anyway, he met Admiral Marcus, and Admiral Marcus created a new identity for him. Why could that not include brainwashing, training in a new accent, and cosmetic surgery? True. Because if people recognize him from history, then his whole cover would be blown. What is this, Donkey Kong Country? Ah, oh, that's right. Rolling balls of bullshit. More rolling balls of bullshit. That's the theme tonight. Dead soon. There's a lot of theme tonight. Yeah, but yeah, I, I, ha I think that if Section 31 can build secret starships around Jupiter, I'm pretty sure they have a couple doctors on staff. True. Plus, we did. Ha, has cosmetic surgery ever come up in the Star Trek universe? Oh, dude, all the fucking time. Well, I mean, I know with the Klingons, but I mean, like on on Earth, like with, within the Federation. Well, if you remember in the original cut, the theatrical cut of the Undiscovered Country, the Colonel West character who was completely cut out of the home video release. You remember that? Vaguely, yes. Well, he was part of the conspiracy between the Klingons and, according to the novel, Section 31, which I've kind of adopted as my headcanon. They plotted the Kittimer conspiracy. He actually was going to assassinate his own president, and he was disguised as a Klingon. Now, that's not entirely cosmetic, but there was also a, an episode of Deep Space Nine during the Federation-Klingon War when Worf... Uh, O'Brien, Odo, and Cisco went undercover on a Klingon world and they were all surgically altered by Dr. Bashir to appear Klingon. Okay. Except for Worf. Except, well, except for Worf. He made him more Klingon. It's he true. made him a super Klingon. It's true. Hey, it's these assholes again. Oh, fuck these guys. Oh, uh, fusion hop! But no, cosmetic surgery is well established within Star Trek canon. Well, then it, it's not without the possibility. Hey, you know what we said we were going to do in uh, Nitro Ball? Masturbate? Well, besides masturbate, we always masturbate. Uh, talk about Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know do what we, we haven't done much of? Talk about Doctor Who. Peter Capaldi. He's awesome. Best Doctor since Eccleston. Yes. Uh, new episodes. Apparently you said that uh, there's a good Dalek. There is a good Dalek. Wait, a good Dalek or a malfunctioning Dalek? It's kind of left ambiguous. Yes. Which is awesome. The Doctor names him Rusty. Yeah, I've only seen one episode and that was the first one. And I've only seen parts of it. I love that. Excuse me, I'm going to have to relieve you of your pet. What? Shut up! I was talking to the horse! <laughs> yeah. Door. Boring. Not me. Window. Me! <laughs> no, Capaldi is priceless as the doctor. And then Matt Smith's cameo? Ugh. Hey, you said it was heart-wrenching. It was. That's why I said ugh. Oh. They sounded like a bad ugh. No, not ugh like that was stupid. Ugh like that was hard to watch. <laughs> Uh, Ow. Fuck yourself. But last night when we were talking about this, because we talked about this last night, I came up with a theory about Rusty. If a, you remember right. A Dalek companion. A Dalek companion. 
It's not without the realms of possibility. It is without precedent, but it is not impossible. He turned into a pile of rubbish. You know, because we're talking about Doctor Who. So he Not that Doctor Who's rubbish. So he turned into Stephen Moffat. Nah. <laughs> ah. You've done it. We've done it. Do, 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 do. Hey, at least it at least this game makes me feel good. We're not timing, I just realized. Oh. Well, this is gonna be the last episode anyways. It's a short game. However long this takes, it takes. I guarantee it's not gonna take more than 15 minutes. It's a short game. Whee! Hey, we're running through. We're having sex with all these things because we're furries. Yep, 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 yep. Let me stick it inside you. What does the Minotaur say? <laughs> Reach the goal. Enemy. I used, so, to so. I used to play in a power metal band, and we had a song called Maze of the Minotaur. Oh. It was kind of awesome. All your bass are belong to us. <laughs> Did he Look just- his mouth! Did he just say Mind Freak? I have no idea. It but, sounded like he said Mind Freak! But this is the only cool part about this game, because the arena does that. Oh, Jesus. It's like- Really good. I, I want to say it's parallax scrolling, but I'm not sure if you know what I'm talking about. That's no my jiggly boobs. Parallax, yeah, and jiggle physics. Jiggly pop, jiggly. If she replaced her boobs with two jiggly pops, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, parallax scrolling for the uh, video game impaired, and it's really not a good parallax scrolling because. The screen, it kind of screen tears all types of stuff when a boss hits the ground. Like, watch the bottom of it. Yeah. See? Yeah. Uh, and basically... I also love how the arena is rotating, but the floor isn't. Well, that's that's parallax scrolling. It's basically uh, one part of the screen is doing one thing at one speed, and the other part of the screen is doing one thing at a different speed. That's fucking stupid. We're just spinning around in circles. It's, it's, it's something that a lot of older games used to do to try to give you the the feel, because I'm not using the word immersion. Immersion! Illusion. Illusion. Uh, that you are A, moving, and B, on a 3D plane. Because, you know, back then, you could only do so much. Because, back then, 3D planes were a pipe dream. Yeah. Unless you were doing, uh, what did they call it? Uh, I, I cannot think of them for you. Uh, vector graphics. Like the Star Trek game on the arcade that you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Th those are vector graphics. Oh, fist pumping like you're from Jersey. Well, even that was two dimensional because you couldn't go up or down. Well, yeah, but it still it, it gives you the illusion of three D graphics because of it being framework and. So there's a little bit of game theory for you, and I probably described it really poorly, but that is my definition of parallax scrolling for you. Ow! You know what I hate? Lasers. In, you know what I hate in uh in uh freaking beat -em -ups? lasers. I beams are something coming from the top of the screen while you're fighting people. That is just like yeah, dead soon. No fucking shit. That's like saying, hey, you have these guys to fight that will kill you because they want to eat your quarters. That dead soon graphic is really fucking annoying, isn't it? Like, you're just it. freaking out there. I'm good with my sword. <laughs> but let's add some- ah, what Ow! What the fuck? Let's add some lasers to make it sure that you will die and you will spend more quarters. Because I'm pretty sure this is the last level. Add uh, jokes it on- is. Yeah. Jokes on you, old game. We don't have to spend quarters because computer. Because right. we're quarter masters. <laughs> Uh, We're infinite quarters. We are made of quarters. Our blood is quarters. I appear in vanish quarters at will. No, seriously. It's kind of true. There's enough trace metals in our blood system that we could probably make a quarter. I am a quarter. <laughs> I ate a quarter once. How did that turn out for you? Painful. I bet that came out of your did ass. Did you shit it, it out it's solid? <laughs> it was painful. So was yes. it like passing a kidney stone out of your ass? Yes. Oh hey, I'm dead again. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Anal kidney stones. <laughs> <laughs> Anal. Hey, look. There was no joke there. I just enjoy it. <laughs> Come here. Come yeah. here, big boy. You love receiving anal. Oh. I that... love shoving my sword in there. Oh. I want the suit. I want to wear it. Ghost guy. I want to wear the suit. If I remember right, this guy has an awesome death animation. 
Oh, I'm pushing jump and not fuck up. You know, if you press both of the buttons at the same time, you freak out! Yeah. <laughs> Tasmanian devil. <laughs> I, I like how when he's on the ground, you can like just beat the shit out of him. This is the most disappointing hey, final flip. boss ever. It's not the final boss. It's the boss leading to the final boss. Oh, those, flip. those chains take us up to it. <laughs> oh, here we go. I, do, Listen, I, I, think I, I think I remember this guy's death animation is kind of sick. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Nice. Yeah, I was right. The chains do take us up to the final boss. I do a halfway decent Tasmanian Devil, don't I? <laughs> That's pretty good, yeah. Hey, look, it's freaking Goro from uh, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Maybe we're going to have to do that for our next fighting game. Besides what we have planned, which we are going to keep secrets for uh, probably in two, two weeks from now. It'll probably come out. It involves us doing what we usually do, but much more copious amounts. Two weeks from now, as in tonight, or two weeks from the air date of no, this? No, no. We're going to record it next week, but oh, what, shit. what's actually going to show up is probably going to be in two weeks, because next week we have something new coming out that Caxi has provided for me that I need to edit. What's that? I, I actually didn't get it recorded yet. It will oh. be... Well, try to get it to be the, soon. The, there was technical <laughs> difficulties with the house. <laughs> oh. We'll try to get it to be soon, because... <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, we have a lot of new stuff coming out to you besides more Adam Experts. Uh, we, we are upgrading our ship. We are spending money for the eBay gods to uh, give us more equipment. Uh, I started a YouTube for my magic specifically. Fucking oh, yeah. my lasers. And, and that does not mean that you won't see magic from McDan. You'll see him as bits on our things when he does random drunken magic for us while we're doing shit. Yes. And you'll see him at conventions. Yep. Convention which, uh, magic. Which DerpyCon, uh, December, if you're on the East Coast, it's a new convention. It's, <laughs> it's unfortunately in Jersey. Ugh. Uh, well, hey, you can't blame him. Yes, you can. Some, what? They're a new con. They could go anywhere. They, well, they pay you in Jersey to come to Jersey. Actually, if you travel Interstate 80, you have to pay to get out Ow. of Jersey. They like to keep their kind in. Ow! What the fuck? Everyone knows that, right? Yeah. I fucking hate Jersey. Very few things came out of Jersey that were good. Misfits being one of them. Kevin Smith being the other. The uh, home of the Giants, which is my favorite team. Can we say Bruce Springsteen? Yeah, we can say Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. Uh, after that, I got nothing. Fucking terrible gun laws. Yeah, seriously. Oh, what? You're not from this state? You don't know our laws? Well, too bad. You're going to prison. Hey, well, actually, no. It's it's one of the only states on the East Coast here that de uh, decriminalized uh, marijuana. Oh, good for them. Too bad guns are still a big no-no. True. How can, you protect, how can you protect your marijuana if you don't have a gun to protect it? How can you and your gay life partner protect your marijuana plants without a gun? Libertarianism. In Fuck one yes. Exactly. Libertarianism. I just, want, I just want gay married couples to be able to protect their marijuana plants with guns. Like, I think that's the most reasonable stance there is. Who is doing a breakdance move in the Me. corner there? <laughs> Libertarians. Slowly taking over the world and leaving you the fuck alone. I wish. No, that's basically what libertarianism is. It's like, the Republicans are all, how dare they ban guns and large sodas? We'll ban pot and gay marriage. And the Democrats are like, how dare they ban pot and gay marriage? We'll ban guns and large soda. And the libertarians are sitting there going, what the fuck? Stop banning shit. Right? Oh, politics. Actually, we have a libertarian in our district that's going to be running for a state office. Really? Yes. Tell me more. Tell me more. Like, he, does he have a car? Huh? He's, he's He lives in Shemokin. He's a cool guy. I actually hang out with him. They do the... Hey, hey guess what? This boss is not dead. Oh, wow. Bad voice acting for the 4-500, Alex Trebek. 
Yeah, they actually have libertarian meetings every Tuesday night. He like is so in, big, he's off the screen. Down in the, Ow. Way to uh, make your character. I, I won't say the actual big. name, it's Scumberry. <laughs> Holy Ow. crap! How the fuck are we supposed to even fight this guy? He's the final boss. And this is his final form, I swear. Or is it like Ganon, where he goes through like six different yeah. forms? Nah, bro. This, this this isn't even my final form. Says Frieza. Yeah, at least it didn't take him ten episodes to power up. No. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. I think, oh! I think this guy is the purple eater. Hey, just, maybe, just one punch and over nine thousand screams. You know, I think this guy might actually be the thing we saw on TV last night when we were at the bar. That half Klingon. Half oh, the, yeah. I don't know what that was, but that was disturbing. The, the, the thing that looked like a Klingon and an Dorian and a Voth had an orgy with Grimace. Yes, that thing. Oh, I need more coins. There we go. Coin it up. Back to human. Back to who, man? Ow! Jesus Christ, I'm dead again. Ow! Welcome to this level. What a fuck nugget. <laughs> like, seriously, fuck this guy. Oh, we kill him. He's dead. Really? That's it. Game over, guys. Hell yeah! Game over. See us tomorrow. But he's... He's dead. That's it. So he gets up, he walks, and yes, then he he's dies. He's like the Undertaker. That's it. That's game over. Oh. See, he's dead. He's glowing. That's it. This isn't even... We're done. Um, this is his final form. Oh. Wait, fuck no, you. Game's not over. Oh, yeah. That's yeah! His final oh, yeah. Form. What the fuck? You lying what sack of shit. I didn't lie. I told you it wasn't his final form. Like, how the fuck are we supposed to fight this thing? Like, do we what we always do? Just beat the shit out of it. Mash buttons! Oh. Wait. That's not what's in his final form. Swear to God, if we fight him again, I'm gonna hit somebody. Not it. <laughs> You've been not it all night. And you still haven't hit Pliskin. Congratulations. Oh, thank God. It's a short game. Triumphant music for the win. Whoa, look at me. Yeah, you turn on furry. We're just gonna Whee! jump off the cliff. When we played this the first time, we thought that wasn't the end of the game. Produce. Executive, Executive produce. produce. M. Anui. Software design. Jen Tetsu W. <laughs> Thanks, Yossi. Dawn! <laughs> Dawn. Eyebrows of death. Sound effect. There was only one. <laughs> Music edit. Where's the voice actor who did all this stuff? Because he should be fired and shot. And Special, Special thanks, thanks to... I'm surprised it's not special thank to. And. And. Mullet and, guy. And. Mullet guy. Technicolor sky. As a result of the fierce efforts of the. It's gonna go away. The We're evil is. Seconds. Yeah, fuck that. Like, why is it even there? Enemy may return someday. Four guardians lie dormant until summoned. They're Goku. They're no, the lie dormant. They're Power Rangers. It's funny because they just went off to the command center. There's Don't only go three of us. Rangers. And now their animal spirits are in the sky. With some lady bitch who only showed up at the beginning at the end. Konami Finn. Could Finn. Finn. usually make good games, but this one isn't. No. I guess I'll start then. Uh Stop it. Just sit here until we die slowly, because that's what that's for. But no, 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 look, 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 watch. Watch, we're dying. Yeah, we're slowly dying, like I said. Aren't we always dying? We're dying since birth. Yeah, think of that as metal. Only the ones who are born are the ones that get to die. Anyway, so... This is the oldest you'll... This is the youngest you'll ever be in the... Alright, how did that fucking go? <laughs> Fuck it! Continue. This is the oldest you've ever been and you'll never be this young again. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Penis. Now you're rolling full of hatred. Take a pill to masturbate your children. Point at you and scream because they will become the thing. Yay. That's a thing. Okay, so <laughs> I, I still give this a 6 out of 10. If this game 
like I said, game stacks think this is the greatest thing in the world, and I, it's it's not a bad game except for that there's other games that you can compare to it that are just a hundred times better. I still think the countdown system is retarded. I I still say that it's the, designed to eat your quarters. It, well, all all arcade games are. Give us money. Uh, you can't read shit. So why put it there? You would literally have to watch the attract screen probably five times just to get a gist of what's going on. So why is it even there? Why is it even there? Do you have to spend a quarter every time you watch it? <laughs> they probably would do that if they could. <coughs> uh, designs aren't bad. I mean, you got flicky hair guy down there with a hair sword fit. that he'd probably stick up some furry's ass because, you know, whatever. So, <laughs> my actual score for this game is... Tasmanian dicks out of Tasmanian vaginas. <laughs> so, Dan, what do you think about this game? Uh, can't we just play a good game? Like, <laughs> can't we play a good game for once? Like, this is fucking terrible. Oh, hey! There's that guy. So, that's a thing. His buttons don't work. Oh, well. <laughs> well, he's like, just gonna like, sit like, there Like, seriously, this, stretch out. this was terrible. This was... This game was fucking terrible. I hate it. <laughs> well, that's a little harsh. I mean, I like, like, you know what? Maybe, maybe I could have taken it a little bit more seriously if you guys weren't making furry jokes the entire time. <laughs> well, that's our job. That that kind of ruined it. Like that ruined it for me. Like it was impossible for me to even begin to take this game seriously again after that. You're not supposed to take this game seriously. You're supposed to take <laughs> on a fun factor. And I'm not saying this game isn't fun. All video games. It's are not fun. fun. <laughs> Except for Desert Plus. Fuck that game. Alright, Cassie. I don't know, Pilot Wing 64 was kind of bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cassie? Uh, yeah, it, hair flip. Look at the Terminators <laughs> riding horses. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so this is a thing that's happening off screen? Ass mode? What? Craig Ferguson is on the TV <laughs> across the room. Okay, All right, anyways, I, give, I give this... A, Furry orgy. That, that, that's my score. Furry orgy. Well, <laughs> out of that, again, we've said this before. Any game we play here, absolutely try. We're just kind of giving our own personal opinion on it. We do, we're not saying that we are experts in this, and we're not saying we don't are play experts. This games. We're anim experts. <laughs> well, we're anim experts, and we are the masters of quarters. But we, you know, go take, play. Take our opinion for grams uh, for great salt. Form your own opinions. Bring the arcade back. You fucked that up so bad. It's take for granted or take with a grain of salt. You turned it into take for a grain of salt. <laughs> I don't care. I'm drinking, damn it. Not enough to be screwed up that much. Hot down here. Which makes right? It's actually pretty happen. nice down here compared to the other towns. Anywho. Try these for yourself because really I wish you arcade. Listen to that guitar. Willy, 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 willy. I wish At least it has good music. <laughs> I wish arcades would come back because arcades, man. Th there's one down in Sunbury. Well, I know, but I mean, like, I, I want to get down it just in general. Yo, there was a bitchin' one in Lake George. Why can there not be a local one? Regardless, because you touch yourself at night. <laughs> Do whatever you can. Bring the arcade things. back, guys. It's really what happened to the days of just putting some quarters down. Grabbing a drink and a pretzel or something in an arcade and saying, hey, let's play Street Fighter till our fingers bleed. I can do it at home now with air conditioning without spending all my quarters. Hey, let's play the game. You know, like, we, like we're doing now. <laughs> Regardless. <laughs> Except without the air conditioning part, because it's hotter than Satan's asshole down here. Now, what the hell is happening? All right, before all right. we get to... Derailed any farther. Seriously, uh, we, we we might be going. Out this has of been time. like ten minutes of yeah. us just talking yeah. about Where shit. We have been quartermasters. This is children driving robots. No, this, we are <laughs> children driving robots. This is quartermasters. I don't care. <laughs> let's get let's get, just walk away and Bye. have another drink. Ugh. See you later, guys. Fuck. Dick punchers. Fuck. <laughs>